did we come from? And where are we going? These are questions that this book poses, but to be honest, doesn't really answer in any unique, unheard of ways before. Stay tuned, that's coming up here on Drew's Book Reviews. Alright, good day, good day, good day, and welcome to another episode of Drew's Book Reviews. This is another viewer's choice video review for the book Dan by Dan Brown, Origin. Author of The Da Vinci Code, The Lost Symbol, Angels and Demons, and a few others you've probably heard of. So we're going to be talking about Dan Brown's origin today. And of course, always don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to check out more of my content. And of course, uh, your, the monthly poll for your opportunity to vote on which of my reads that I'm going to be reading, you want to see me do a review on. So Dan Brown's origin won the poll this month. And let's talk about what this book is all about and how I enjoyed it. So the basic premise behind this book is Kirsch. He's this mathematician, this computer whiz, this computer science guy, and he makes this startling discovery that will change everything, change the world as we know it, about our origins and where we came from and where we're going to. And it will completely destroy any idea behind religion, theology, destroy that, everything. And that is the basic premise, but what this discovery is, we don't know. In comes Robert Langdon. He is a close personal friend of Kirsch, this scientist that figures this out. And it turns out that he's invited to this great unveiling event that's happening at this famous museum in Spain, the Guggenheim Museum in Spain. And this is where it all comes down. This is where everything happens. This is where stuff starts getting interesting. And one thing I will say that on the positive, we'll start with some positives here as far as the book and the storytelling goes. Uh, as far as that, this is definitely what I would call a plot-driven story. Now, it's plot-driven in a good way. The writing style that Dan Brown has in Origin and his other works is very fast-paced. It definitely keeps you connected to the story and makes you want to keep reading. A page-turner, as they call it. And every every chapter, the short chapters with the next event happening, you just got to know well, what happens next, what happens next. Are they going to be able to do what they need to do to make this happen? And so it really has that page turning element to it. Robert Langdon, of course, is a fun character to read with his codes and symbology going on there, all kinds of stuff, same kind of stuff we get in other works. I really enjoyed that aspect of the story. I enjoyed the thrill and the mystery and the adventure and the action and everything that's going on and how Robert Langdon is once again getting himself caught up in this mix and this mystery and finding himself in danger. Robert Langdon is basically, I would say he is Dan Brown's Indiana Jones is how I would describe it. And there's always something going on. There's always something he's running from, some mystery he's trying to unravel and all, all that kind of stuff. Now, now we're going to talk a little bit about what I found not so great about this book. And to be honest, you know, and I will just be upfront and honest there, uh, is it's not so much that these things are inherently bad, I guess the best way to put it, uh, because it really kind of felt like in a lot of ways, uh, it wasn't these aspects necessarily or mere, are there to set up, set up the plot as opposed to being the plot, if that makes any sense. But what I will say for sure is that in a lot of ways, I found that the the mystery behind what's going on or the events that took place leading up to s triggering this adventure that they had was predictable. I saw it coming. I knew it was going to happen. I'm just going to avoid spoilers here because I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but I found it to be very predictable. The perpetrators of this predictable act uh, had clear motivation to do so is what I found uh, as far as setting up who's going to take the fall for what. Uh, now, granted, there's a little bit of a twist at the end, uh, which I will say was nice to kind of throw that in there and put that little bit of a twist at the end to reveal who the mastermind behind it all was. But at the same time, it wasn't that unpredictable as we continue to narrate through the plot and progression of the story itself. Motives are easily... I, I felt like Dan Brown was kind of putting motive, setting up a motive for you to suspect somebody else of doing it. Personally, I thought this guy sounds like he's probably it, but it wouldn't surprise me if, it, if this if these individuals weren't actually responsible for this turn of events. And again, trying to be vague here because I don't want to spoil anything. But really, what it came down to is I did find a lot of it to be 
quite predictable knowing what was happening. In terms of the big revelation that came up at the end of this book as far as to answer the questions, where did we come from and where are we going? Again, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing extreme, nothing shocking that I could find. Uh, in terms of where we came from, you know, I think for the most part, it's not a surprising answer that Dan Brown gave us. I don't think that uh, it would be completely unreasonable or totally implausible. It made a lot of sense, to be honest. And it was just kind of like, uh, I was hoping for something that, you know, the twist would have something much more shocking involved in that. And in terms of the answer he gave for where are we going, again, something that was pretty... Okay, that's not surprising at all. That's kind of obvious. I think at least I felt that way, that anybody could really predict that. So it just seems like that aspect of it really just kind of fell flat for me because for all the adventure, all the action, as much of a page turner as this book was, the big revelation about the mystery that all this action was happening because of just fell flat. It was like, wow, that's actually not that shocking. Like that, anybody could have predicted that kind of thing. I'd he I've heard about these things for years. Uh, these ideas for years have been perpetuated through science fiction for a long time, at least in my personal feelings and experience and the things that I've read and watched. Anyway, those are my thoughts here on Dan Brown's origin. So I'd love to hear from you. What did you think of Origin? How did you like it? Is it a book that you've read? Uh, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. You can join us on the Dragon's Den Discord. That'll be linked below. And don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button as well. And I look forward to seeing from you or hearing from you in the future and seeing what else you vote on in the future. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, until next time, keep on reading. Bye.